good afternoon, Connemouth Township. Happy Monday, and hope you enjoyed the sunshine this weekend. There will be a bocce ball match today at home starting at 4 p.m. The event will take place in the gym. The boys, junior, and varsity basketball team will travel to Nanny Glow to face the Black Click Valley Vikings. Varsity begins at 7 o'clock p.m. Also, we will continue to recognize Black History Month. The Black History Month 2023 theme, Black Resistance, explores how African Americans have resisted historic and ongoing oppression in all forms since the nation's earliest days. Also, the NHS has selected their spring service project and will work with the food, and food bank distribution on March 11th, April 8th, and May 13th, and they will be collecting food donations and monetary support. Stay tuned for ways you can help. See Mercedes Mall with any questions. The TSA is having a sweet treat sale to raise funds for states and potentially nationals. They will be selling sweet treats pretzels for delivery on February 14th. The pretzels will be sold in the morning in front of the showcase. Our very own Emma Mitchell is one of three finalists selected for the Challenge Program Inc.'s Community Service Award for 2023. The winner will be determined by the number of votes on Instagram. Her post highlights the adapted music class she started in 2021 for our life skills and MDS students. Voting starts today and runs through February 12th at midnight. Let's help her win. The barcode can be found on the district's Facebook page. Go Emma. The post prom committee will be holding their first Gaga Ball tournament on February 22nd. Teams should consist of five to seven students and the cost is $20 per participant. Please see Mrs. Feathers, Mrs. Hankinson, or Katie Troxel if you're interested. And finally, the Sun Club will be selling carnations to be delivered on Valentine's Day. Students can sign up for carnations with a message in room 218. If you're looking for a daily boost, get a positive message sent to you every day at school by sending a text to 81010 with the message at 784632. Today's daily boost is to make a difference in someone's life. You don't have to be brilliant, rich, beautiful, or perfect. You just have to care. Thanks for tuning in and see you tomorrow on the Cantonian Network. back to the Little Catonian Network where we bring you the middle school news. This week's sporting events include boys junior high basketball beginning at 4 today at Blackwood. There is a wrestling match tomorrow at 6 at RVHSA. The middle school teachers want to remind students of the following. Mr. Kramer wants all students to complete their vocab cards. Periods 2 through 3 should complete their equation worksheets given every day. Periods 4 through 5 are to complete their 8.6 homework. 6 through 7 have 7.2 to do. Mr. Hazlett would like to remind all 7th grade students that their genetic disorder projects are due February 13th. Thanks for tuning in and see you tomorrow on the Cantonian Network. Hi, welcome back to LCN. I'm Lily. <laughs> I'm Haley. And I'm Lexi. And today we're here with Mrs. Gill. What is the book of the week? The book of the week is called Ghost Hunter's Daughter by Dan Pablocki. What's the age demographic of this book? I would say the age uh, group for this book would probably be junior high, grade 6 through 8. And what is the genre? The genre is supernatural. What is the plot of the book? So the plot of the book is um, the main character, Claire. Her dad uh, is a ghost hunter on TV. He has his own show. And he goes um, looking for this ghost and actually never returns and so she um, has to attempt to try to find him and she gets various clues and um, along the way she gets worried for her own life. Thank you Mrs. Kimmel. We'll see you next week.